Hello, I'm Melissa Holmesley and welcome to my kitchen. This is the Art of the Picnic with me and Vogue in partnership with Al Valle Gazpacho. It's not fantastic weather, as you can see, but that's okay because we've got beautiful food and the Art of the Picnic means having a good time, whatever the weather. I was thinking about what makes a picnic and I was looking up the definition of a picnic. It said something along the lines of uh, a meal eaten outdoors, preferably with, you know, like a scenic uh, view. And that's great if you've got time to get out and about, but I'm in East London and I just want to have a beautiful picnic all the time. I'm not saving it for best or when the sun is thriving. Here is a beautiful platter I want to show you. I love a platter because you can be completely flexible to have a contrast in flavours and textures. So we've got creamy sunshine spice dips. We've got a watercress tzatziki. Uh, you could put any greens in that. We've got crunchy crackers galore. We've talked about our platter. Beautiful, beautiful platter. Lots of elements that you can prepare ahead. And then a really great pairing to go with it take a load off, don't try and do everything yourself, is a gorgeous, lovely gazpacho. I really like the Al Valle gazpacho. To make a great picnic, it's all about keeping things fun and simple, not overexerting yourself, and definitely not giving yourself too much to clean up. So where you can uh, get something from the shops that's ready to go, take advantage of that. There's, there's no need to be a picnic hero. So all you need to do is pack yourself some bowls, and your chilled Alvaya gazpacho. And then, to make it look even better on your picnic, you chop some cucumbers, uh, you chop some cherry tomatoes, or any ripe tomatoes, and then you just do this lovely bit of flourishing as everyone arrives to sit down to the picnic. And it didn't take much time at all, did it? I'm just remembering all the things that my mum taught me about cooking when I was growing up. My mum's from the Philippines and so flavours of the Philippines that took over our lives were things like ginger and lots of citrus fruit, um, lots of citrus fruits that I haven't seen here in London. But um, I always think of citrus when I think of my mum and I love lemonade, so I feel like lemonade is a really key typical British picnic staple. If you're at home, you could do this too jug, brew up some ginger tea, cool it, and then you can squeeze loads and loads and loads of citrus in. So lemon, you can also zest your fruit um, to add more flavor. And you could perk it up with some fresh mint, uh, with some basil. I love grapefruit and basil together. And what's really nice, if you make a concentrate of this drink, you can then add vodka, a little bit of gin, or you can just serve it as it comes. It's finishing touches time of our Art of the Picnic table. We've got the platter, we've got this Greek-inspired watermelon, feta, minty tomato number here. I remember going to picnics when I was younger with some boiled eggs um, and lots of sandwiches. Uh, what else was there? Maybe like some kind of room temperature soft drinks. <laughs> Desperate for some ice back then. And I just think now we enjoy picnics a lot more. They're a longer affair and they can also be, this is obviously absolutely fantastic and lovely, but they can be super simple too. And the important thing is just like lots of lovely things to eat lots of relaxation, amazing combination. And for me, tomatoes are absolutely essential for a summer picnic. So you'll see I've got them in lots of different things here. We have got a gorgeous fruity platter with blood oranges, apples, strawberries. We've got this beautiful burrata courgette ribbon salad, all beautifully complementing our gorgeous chilled Alvaya gazpacho. The sun's out, we're ready to go. The picnic basket is packed. Here is what I keep in my picnic basket. So, what have we got here? We've got reusable containers. Love the ones with the little handle too. Lots of hydration. Got my speakers. Got lots of plates. All about the mishmash. Mix it up, nothing needs to be matching. Never. Love this container. Blanket, of course. Get loads of blankets so you can be really nice and cozy. 
Thank you so much for joining me for the art of picnicking. Have an amazing summer full of picnics. See you soon.